Hello, my loves. Welcome to your uh, bi-weekly singles reading. This is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Ooh, I left a card behind. Okay, and this is going to be for February 1st through the 15th, guys. So we're going to do a quick shuffle here on camera. We're going to go over a couple really quick announcements, and then we're going to get into the reading, okay? And I said Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus sign, I think, right? Yeah. Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides. What messages do we have for my Scorpios, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides. What clarity and guidance can we get for my single Scorpios, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirits and Guides. My single Scorpios for February 1st through the 15th. What love messages, what clarity and guidance can we get for my single Scorpios, please, Spirit? All right, guys, so if you're currently subscribed, welcome back. And if you have not yet subscribed, Scorpio, please go ahead and click that red subscribe button on the bottom right-hand corner underneath this reading. I do choose multiple winners, guys, every month for free readings. I give away tarot cards, oracle cards, and for February 1st, I'm going to be giving away jewelry too, which I'm super excited about. So let's see how that goes. If, it, if you guys like it, we'll, we'll, you know, make it a thing every month. Um... The winners are always announced on the first of the month, so go ahead and click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and you know when those winners are announced, okay? Um, I am not taking personal readings at the moment, guys, uh, but you can still visit my website, www.thetaroflight.com, um, to view my tarot collection. I do have over 100 uh, tarot cards and oracle decks. There's links to purchase on there if you're interested in anything um, or you see anything that you like so today we're going to be using the good tarot which is one of my first decks I have such like a connection with this deck I love this deck um, so today we're using the good tarot the quantum oracle and the romance angels all right guys so let's see what we have underneath here for the overall energy patience patience Scorpio okay so that's good. I mean, patience, patience is a virtue, they say, right? So let's see what we have going on. Spirit, what messages do we have for my single Scorpios, please? Stuck energy. Okay. So Scorpio, maybe you have your eye on someone or someone has their eye on you and they're patiently just kind of waiting. Uh, maybe this person is a little stuck, a little shy. Maybe you're stuck and shy. Maybe, oh, let me pull one more of these, sorry. Maybe you're stuck and shy to let this person know that you like them or to possibly ask you out the vast universe. So for me, this is a card of space. Like this person is keeping their distance or Scorpio, you could be keeping your distance from this person. Fear is under the deck. Yeah, I'm getting a sense that either Scorpio, you may be crushing on somebody or somebody is crushing on you and you guys are too shy to, okay, to flirt. <laughs> you guys are too shy to walk up this per walk up to this person and, you know, flirt. So we have deception under the, de the deck. So someone here is wearing a false self mask, which means that somebody is not showing how they really feel. So Scorpio, again, this could be your energy. It, you know, if you guys are currently really, really liking somebody, but not coming forward and saying it, um, or it could be someone that, you know, likes you and they're not, they're afraid to come forward and speak. So let's see what we have going on. We have the Three of Swords. So with the Three of Swords, what I'm getting in the recent past here, we may have had uh, some heartbreak. There could have been a third party situation here. Or maybe uh, you or this person are already in a committed relationship. And the reason why they're stuck and not coming forward and keeping their distance is because that would be cheating. Or, you know, Scorpio, that could be you. So we have the Chariot, Cancerian Energy. We have transformation. We have transformation is the death card, guys. That's scorpionic energy, by the way. We have the page of wands, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. We have the four of wands, 1111 card. 
soulmate card and the three of wands okay so in the recent past what i'm seeing here is there may have been some heartache for you guys scorpio um i'm definitely seeing that there was an ending so maybe you guys are very fresh out of a relationship or your person this person that likes you is very fresh out of a, a relationship and um you guys may be waiting. Someone here might be waiting to hear from this person. And that's why maybe there's this stuck energy of not moving forward. Okay, someone here is a little heartbroken. Now, Scorpio, that could be you, could be this person that likes you. And that's why there's, you know, this is kind of stuck at the moment. You understand? Like, let's just say, you know, you just get out of a relationship and you really start to like somebody, but you're like, oh, maybe this isn't the right time because what if this person comes back and wants to start over? I don't want to hurt anybody so someone here is not looking for a rebound when they do come towards you Scorpio or when you go towards this person you want it to be real you're not looking for it to be a rebound thing okay now here we have the tower yeah there may have been a, a breakup the two of wands distance the nine of swords a lot of anxiety a lot of fear the four of swords you're really in your head thinking about this and the Emperor, Aries, Taurus energy with the star, Aquarian energy. Okay, so what I'm getting here, guys, is that there was a really bad breakup. And it was really fast. Maybe someone here got ghosted. Maybe someone here was very impulsive. Because with the tower and the chariot, these are very fast-moving energies, okay? So, Scorpio, you could have just recently come out of a connection or something really bad. Even if it's not a breakup, there could have been a death. There could have been anything, okay? Someone here has went through something very serious in life, whether that's you or this person who likes you. Now what's happening is, you know, there's some distance here. There's some fear, some anxiety. This person is having, you know, trouble sleeping. They're needing some mental rest. But I do feel like they're going to come out of this in emperor mode. They're going to start getting up, you know, within the first half of February, start getting up, getting taking control of their life. And with the star, hope is going to come back into the picture, okay? Okay. So I'm seeing healing here from something in the past. So Scorpio, if this is you, great. If not, then this is someone around you that has a serious crush on you, but they're just trying to get over something right now, okay? Now here we have the Queen of Fire. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy, very passionate, sexy energy. We have the Five of Wands, very feisty. <laughs> we have some feistiness happening here with the Ace of Swords. The Seven of Swords. The Five of Swords. Good Lord, we have a lot of swords here, guys. What is the deal? There's a lot of swords here. And we have Call. Okay, so... Scorpio, I have to tell you... For some of you, it may resonate where it's you crushing, someone else is crushing... I'm not feeling a sense of newness here. I feel like this may be a major, major fight between you and your person. You're single for maybe a week or two, um, and then you guys are going to come back together. You could possibly be dealing with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, or Aries energy. But what I'm seeing here is either you went something through something really heartbreaking and traumatic in your life, or your person did. And uh, again, the Queen of Fire here. You know, we we could be dealing with a you know a, a, a fire sign. Or they could have fire in their chart. But an argument is going to ensue here. Okay? An argument is going to ensue here. Somebody here might just... Because they're in pain. Because they're in pain. Um, there may be some really nasty words being said. That's what I'm getting here. Uh, some really nasty words being said. Someone's not thinking before they speak. There could be a, quite a blowout of a fight. But it's going to end with you guys calling and coming back together. I'm feeling here. Okay? Because I'm seeing here, you know, stuck energy, patience is needed, there's going to be some space, and then you guys are going to come back together and start flirting. Now, for those of you that that doesn't resonate with you, okay, um, that there is no ex or there was no argument and you guys are completely single, then what I'm seeing here is that someone here is definitely crushing and they're pac patiently waiting. I feel like the first situation really resonates more with this, but this is a singles reading, so for those of you who are completely single, 
people have no exes in the picture, no argument with your person. Um, what I'm feeling is that either you, Scorpio, or this person that really likes you went through something very traumatic. It could have been a breakup. It could have been a death. It could have been loss of a job, whatever. It was very, very traumatic for this person, but they're healing and they're starting to get over it. Okay. They're healing and they're starting to get over it. Now, what I'm seeing though is, is that in the near future, what's making this person stuck is the fear of this happening to them again. The fear of getting left behind, the fear of the fighting, the fear of the pain, the fear of, you know what I'm saying? This person is, um, is scared. I'm getting that this person is scared. Uh, but the end here with call, I am getting, um, I am getting, I'm feeling communication here with you guys. So let's go ahead and see what we have going on. Let's clarify this. Spirit, what messages do we have for my Scorpios today, please? Holy Spirit, Angel Spirit, say guys. And guys, this is Aquarian energy with the star. I don't know if I said that. So we've got Cancer, Scorpio, Aries, Taurus, Aquarian energy, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. Oh, oh, oh. Spirit, tell me about this Three of Swords, please, Spirit. The Three of Swords, the world. Yeah, this person went through something, a, a very nasty ending. Uh, something ended here. It could have been a job. It could have been a relationship. Someone, a family member could have died, anything. You know what I'm saying? It could have been anything, but so, there was an ending here. And the new cycle that's beginning, there's no going back. So let's say if it was a relationship, it's not going to come back together. If it was whatever, you know what I'm saying? There was an ending here. Spirit, tell me about Chariot. We have the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy here. So again, this could have been someone leaving their job, someone leaving a, you know, a commitment here a committed relationship spirit tell me about transformation please yeah six of wands so this person knows that it was for the best whatever this ending was it was for the best spirit tell me about this page of wands here please spirit yeah ace of cups okay so like I said, you know, there may be some hope here that there will be communication for reconciliation. That could also be what's holding this person back. Spirit, tell me about this Four of Wands, the Nine of Cups. Yeah, there was a lot of love here. There was a lot of love here. This person may have been engaged to get married. You may have been engaged to get married. And then there was an ending. So there is a little bit of yearning here in the recent past. So Scorpio, if this was you, great. If this isn't you then this may be this person that's crushing on you so with the three of wands um this is a sense of distance and yearning so someone here really does want to you know be happy they want the sun to come out they don't want to live in this place of you know darkness basically okay they don't want to be depressed they don't want to be upset they want to fight to be free of this okay and with the three of cups under the deck here so because i'm getting two different things let's just go over this one more time so for those of you that are completely single completely single there's no fight with your person or anything either you scorpio or someone around you has went through something very 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 horrible very traumatic and now there's there's a little bit of a connection here there's there's someone here that's crushing on another person but they're kind of staying stuck and staying still because there is a little bit of hope that you know the other person um uh, that whatever happened may come back okay so maybe like that that their job may call and 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 want them back or that their person that they broke up with may want them back okay so there's hope here that it'll come back together again but i don't believe that it will um because this tower has fallen that's an ending we have the world that's an ending you know what i'm saying we've got distance here so i don't feel like that whatever this was is going to come back together but someone here is just trying to heal from it okay now, um, for those of you who had a spat with your person and now you're like single and you're saying you're single because you're just upset and you're like, oh, I'm never going back. I don't really feel like that's the case. I think that you guys are just waiting to make up. Spirit, tell me about this tower. We have the justice card here. So basically this tower was meant to fall. You know, it, it was meant to fall. It needed to happen. Spirit, tell me about this two of wands, please. Five of Pentacles. Yeah, there's distance here. Someone here is feeling lonely. Someone here is feeling left out in the cold. Spirit, tell me about this Nine of Swords. We have a Page of Pentacles here. Um, 
someone is having a lot of fear, a lot of anxiety, a lot of sleepless nights. And I feel honestly like this person just needs a friend right now with this page of pentacles. Tell me about the four of swords here, please, spirit. Ten of pentacles. So someone here is thinking. Um, at this point now, they're thinking about either... One second, guys. At this point here, someone is either thinking about... What I'm really getting is that they're thinking about what they want. Now, let's just say there was a death of a family member. This person may be thinking about this family member. Let's just say this person lost their job. They're thinking about money, okay? And let's just say they lost their person and they were married to this person. Or maybe they're going through a divorce or something along those lines. You're thinking about family, about your family, about marriage, okay? Spirit, tell me about the emperor, please. Why do we have the emperor here? Now, the emperor could be a father figure. Um, we have the seven of swords here again. Uh, the emperor could be a father figure, a husband figure, a wife figure. We don't read gender in tarot, okay? But someone here picked up and left, okay? Causing a lot of heartache, causing a lot of heartache. So someone here is experiencing a lot of loss and a lot of pain, okay? They're going through a lot of heartache, now, whether, whether you're completely single and you're crushing, someone else is crushing on you, or you just had a spat with your person and you're currently single for a couple of weeks because this is coming back together, guys, okay? This whole thing is basically happening. The reason why we have stuck energy here is because someone here is going through a very, very difficult time. Spirit, tell me about the star, please. The Knight of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Um... So what I am seeing here is that someone here is hoping that this will come back together again. Someone here is wishing to quickly move towards the other person, okay? Someone wishes that they could, you know, chase or, or move towards and, and come together again, okay? Tell me about this Queen of Wands, please, Spirit. The Five of Wands. And we have the Five of Wands here again. This queen is very feisty. She is in a bad mood. <laughs> we do not want to mess with this queen right now. Um, so whoever this queen of wands is to you, uh, there's going to be an argument that or there's either emotional confliction about moving towards this queen or there may be an argument with this queen. Spirit, tell me about the five of wands here, please. The Wheel of Fortune. Again, this is an argument that was destined to happen. Or maybe, you know, again, if you guys are completely single and you're going through something you're, or you're, this person is going through something, the fact that there needs to be space here for healing is destiny. It's the best thing that could possibly happen. So just to reiterate, if you were in a relationship and you got into a really nasty fight with your person because something very serious happened, space is definitely needed for somebody here to heal. And then you'll come back together again. Um, if you're completely single and you're going through a hard time or someone is crushing on you and they're going through the hard time, the best thing that you guys can do is maybe keep things light for now and heal. That's just obvious, okay? Spirit, tell me about this Ace of Swords, please, Spirit. Queen of Wands, again, this queen, whoever this queen is to you, um, may not be showing how they truly feel, but this person is going through a lot. They're going through the lot with the Five of Swords and the Seven of Swords here. This person is going through a lot. They may be dealing with the loss of someone or something. Um, Nine of Pentacles here. And because of this right now, I feel like they really just need to be single. They really just need to work on themselves and deal with the loss and the pain of this. Look, we've got the Five of Swords again, the Three of Wands. They're missing somebody and they are, you know, they're hurting. They're having anxiety, but I do feel like they'll get over it and there will be communication. See that Ace of Wands and Call? That's communication. So no matter what side of the spectrum you guys find yourself on, this is basically an issue of he, there needs to be healing here and then this can proceed forward spirit tell me about this five of swords yeah see the hermit virgo energy this person just is withdrawing this someone here lost something very significant uh very significant and they're withdrawing okay but i do feel like it's going to come together again because under the deck here we've got reconciliation the two of cups soulmate energy here coming back together again so because you see it goes around in a circle and then it comes back to flirt so the key here is scorpio patience 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 is needed because um some something or someone here 
really needs to heal. Now, this could be you, Scorpio, could be your person, could be your crush, or, you know, this could be even be somebody that you have no idea is even crushing on you, but they are waiting to come forward. Like there may be someone in your circle or in your workplace where you just know you can sense it that this person wants to come up and talk to you, but they're not. And you're thinking to yourself, why won't they just talk to me? This is why this person is going through a lot. Um, if your person experienced a serious loss, maybe they lost their job, maybe they lost a loved one, maybe something really, their dog died. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Something really, really serious here. Um, someone here is, is needing space to deal with what happened to them. Okay? All right, guys. Uh, I hope this resonated. Please be sure to like. Don't forget to subscribe to enter a chance to win. Drop a comment. Let me know how this resonates. I love you guys, and I'll see you soon. Bye.